You want to convert a symmetric equation of a line into a vector equation? It's super easy. Because for a line, you only need one parameter, t. Now I'm actually going to also convert this to a parametric equation in the meantime, just to show you that I think this is the easiest way to do it. I'm going to call all of these t. Now, I'm going to solve for x in relation to t. x plus 7 over 8 equals t. So x plus 7 equals 8t. I'm multiplying both sides of this equation by 8. Then I get rid of the 7 by subtracting it on both sides. So I end up with x equals 8t minus 7. Ah, huh? see? Now, I'm going to ignore these two and use this equation. y plus 1 over 2 equals t. Multiply both sides by 2 and subtract 1. I get y equals 2t minus 1. I could do the same for z. z becomes negative 2t plus 5. Now, if these are my parametric equations, I can convert this to a vector equation very easily. When t is 0, I have a point, negative 7 comma negative 1 comma 5. And you're allowed to use any point that is on the line as your position vector in the vector equation of a line. Then I write plus t, because I picked t for my parameter. You can have picked almost any letter you want. And use the coefficients on t as my direction vector. Now in this case, I'm going to be lazy and use 8 comma 2 comma negative 2. Though all of those numbers were hidden in the symmetric equation, and very obviously, if you now look at how you convert a symmetric equation to a vector equation, you want to take a shortcut, you go ahead. Now, what I do want to point out is that the direction vector can be any linear multiple of this vector, so you can reduce it like you would reduce... Whoa, that's wrong. So you can reduce it like you can reduce fractions. 8, 2, negative 2 are all divisible by 2. So I'm going to do that. I get 4, 1, 1. And this is another vector equation that is also allowed for this symmetric equation. Ah, huh? pretty easy. Two and a half minutes. Done. Best of luck.